Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of LLC Stack. So guys, in today's example, I'll teach you how you can get object information using the record APIs and using the wire. Okay, so guys, basically we'll be getting the object metadata based on the API name. So using the metadata, we will be getting object fields, child relationships, record types, and we'll be getting theme also. Okay, so we'll create a simple form. Actually, I have already created a component for that and in this video, I will be just explaining the code. Okay, so this is my lightning component guys and in this as you can see I'm having an input text here in which I will be taking the object API name and underneath that I'm having a button here and on the click of that button I'm calling my JavaScript function which is handle click and on that handle click I'm getting the object metadata using the object API which, which will be will be getting this from this lightning input. Okay, and I'm displaying the object metadata into this object metadata variable, which I have already bind it in my lightning web component. Okay, let me move to the JavaScript part. So guys, uh, as I told you earlier, like we'll be using wire and object APIs for that. So you have to import the wire first. And after that, you have to import the lightning UI object info API. Okay, so this API can be used to get the object information. So on line number six, I'm having a variable just to store the API name of that object. And after that, I'm just binding the get object info and I'm passing the API name and object API name, we'll be getting it from that input text, okay? On the click of that button. And based on this object API name, we are getting the object metadata into this object info parameter variable, okay? And on the handle click guys, this is my buttons click. So on my buttons click, we are basically storing the selected value from that input text to this object API name. You can see this variable here. So we are getting this uh, selected value in this object API name. And to get the value, we are just using the query selector, the template.query selector. You have seen this earlier into my uh, previous examples also. So we are using the query selector and using the query selector, we are getting the selected value from that input text to this object API name. And underneath that on line number 12, I have just printed the object API name just to check whether it is getting value or not. Okay. And after that, guys, we are having a getter of object metadata. So guys, whenever you will be getting the object metadata, it will be basically in JSON format. So you, so you know, you cannot just display it directly to your screen. So you have to stringify it before displaying it to the screen. Okay. So here I'm checking like if the object info is not null, then it will just stringify the data. Otherwise it will return null. Okay. So let's deploy it one more time because I have recently made some changes here. Okay. It is deployed. Now let me just refresh this page. So guys, this is my component. This is my input text and my button. So let's say if I would like to search for an object, let's say if I would like to search for contact, then this is the metadata of contact guys. As you can see the API name, the child relationship name, field name, every single detail is here guys in this metadata format. But as you can see, this is the JSON format and we are just stringifying it. So it is not in a sorted format. And in the console guys, you can see the object API name which is coming from the uh, input text here it is uh, object name we are getting undefined let me just try it one more time okay somehow we are not getting the object name let me just check it once okay I, I think this is because we are having a case sensitivity issue here the API was in capital let me just save it and deploy it one more time So it is deployed now. Let's refresh it. And let's use contact. Okay, we are having the name now. So guys, uh, we have to sort this data using the stringify method. So for that, you, you can just simply search a stringify method in JavaScript. There, there will be multiple syntax for it. So we can just simply use one of them. Okay, here as you can see, 
we are passing three parameter insert 10 space character for each white space okay so it will be inserting 10 space character for each white space okay so let's try this so this is json dot string identify and Okay, let's deploy it quickly again. Okay, let me reload it and let's see if it can sort the data. Search for contact again. Alright guys, so as you can see the data has been sorted now. So we have basically inserted space. We are using 10 space for each white space. Okay, but Anyways, it has sorted our data, so the purpose is solved now. So guys, that's how you can get the object API using the UI record API. So let's try for account as well. So as you can see guys, this is how you can get the object API. You will be getting the metadata, you will be getting the fields, you will be getting child relationship, record types and themes from this. Okay, so guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.